Good evening, my friends. It's Miss Patty at Samuels Public Library with my friend Lammy Kins. Lammy um, has had a busy day. I don't know about you. Have you been outdoors playing? It is a lovely, gorgeous week full of springtime fun things like new flowers and daffodils and warm sunshine. You can put away your winter coat maybe and just have a little sweater on or a hoodie. Maybe you don't even need that. So um, I hope you are cozy and getting ready for bed and would like to listen to a couple of bedtime stories with Lammy and I. So Lammy's gonna sit and listen right there. And our first story is a little silly. It is Samson, Miss, no, Simpsons, Simpsons sheep won't go to sleep by Bruce Arant. Oh dear, Farmer Simpson, what are we gonna do? It can be kind of funny. Farmer Simpson works all day. He plants his corn and beans and hay. His feet get tired. His nose gets red at night. He likes to go to bed. He has a busy day and gets all worn out. His pigs and cows all cuddle tight with grunts and snorts. They sleep all night. His ducks and hens lie in a heap, then quack and cluck themselves to sleep. <laughs> Each night before he gets his rest, the farmer tries his very best to gather up his flock of sheep and tell them that it's time to sleep. <laughs> but they all have excuses why they can't lie down or even try. They need a drink. They want a snack. They have to go. They'd like to yak. The ground's too hard. The grass is wet. They'll settle down but not quite yet. The sky's too dark, the moon's too bright. Then someone starts a tickle fight. They smell a smell, they have an itch, they can't lie still, they have to twitch. They think of every reason why to stay awake beneath the sky. It sometimes makes poor Simpson weep. This time of night, he needs his sleep. He's so tired, poor Mr. Simpson. After weeks of little rest, the tired farmer felt distressed. And then to make him feel more rotten, he recalled what he'd forgotten. Up to his knees in fluffy fleece, he thought of his dear wife, Bernice. Her birthday's here, today's the date. What should I do to celebrate? So Simpson sat and sat and thought a while and wondered how to make her smile. I'll buy a present soft and pretty from the best store in the city. That looks like a nice birthday cake. Giant sails, sleeping gowns, and blankets. Farmer Simpson went to town to buy his wife a sleeping gown. And as he chose which gown to buy, some other presents caught his eye. I'll buy these for my sheep, he said, to give them when it's time for bed. That night at bedtime, eight o'clock, he gently covered up his flock. With cozy blankets, soft and snug, 
as comfy as a mother's hug. Do you think it'll work? Then Farmer Simpson watched his sheep, their eyes drooped low, their buzz bod deep, in blankets warm. They couldn't make one poor excuse to stay away. That's what they needed was a cuddly blankie, right? And one by one, that farmer knew each cuddly lamb and ram and you would curl up cozy on the ground and wouldn't even make a sound. Yay. Well, just one sound, but nothing more. They made a sleepy, sleepy, sheepy snore. Just like you. Good night, little lamb. That's very sweet. And yay for Mr. Farmer Simpson. He can finally get some sleep himself. So, I have another story. It's a little one, but it's sweet. Good Night World by Willa Perlman. Do you do that sometimes? Say good night to everything you can think of that's special to you in your world. For my world, Amir, Jonathan, and Benjamin. That's from the author, That's how she dedicated the story. Good night, world. It's time for bed. It's time for me to rest my head. Elsewhere in the world, it's light. It's morning there, but here it's night. Good night, sun and other stars. Good night, Saturn and Venus and Mars. Those are some of our neighbor planets. Turning Earth, good night to you. Did you know that, that our Earth turns? And that's kind of why we have night and day, right? We see the moon at night and the sun during the day as we twirl around. Good night, deserts pink and blue. Good night, mountains, Captain White. Our mountains. All the snow has melted, hasn't it? Oceans breaking waves. Good night. Maybe this summer you'll go to the beach and see an ocean. Good night, canopies of green. Giant trees in the tropics far away where lots and lots of wonderful animals and green plants that are very different from ours, right? Good night, rocky gurgling stream. Now we have that. We have our Shenandoah River and lots of little streams that flow into it. Animals and birds, good night. What animals do we have that you say good night? Here we have raccoons and possum and lots of birds and bear. Sometimes the bear come and sniff around our trash cans, right? Roads that twist and bend, sleep tight.
good night, street and yard and house. Is it getting dark? Good night, rabbit, squirrels, and mouse. All cozy and snugly ready for bed. Good night, sister, brother, friends. Close your eyes as daytime ends. Good night, world, as darkness brings. Sweet dreams to every living thing. <gasps> Saying good night around the world. You can say buenas noches, that's Spanish, Spanish, and all kinds of different ways of saying good night. Good night, bon nuit is French, all kinds of ways of saying good night. So I hope you have a lovely night a good night's sleep and a lovely rest of the week. So good to be with you and come into the library and say howdy. We have lots of art kits for you and some science kits and the gardens looking especially lovely with new plants blooming. Come in and see if you can find some fairies in our fairy garden. Good night. Bye-bye.